Meteorologist Patrick Evans. This is the view from the top of the tram, and it looks pretty nice out there. We had some light showers overnight, and now we're waiting for the next round of precipitation to move in, and it's going to be significant. And so you can already see a few spotty showers here on the Doppler radar uh, around San Bernardino, but also up in the mountains, a little bit of light snow shower activity. Uh, we saw some light, very light, just sprinkles in the valley in the overnight hours. Our temperatures in the 50s predominantly around the region. We're at 57 in Indio, 50 in Thermal, 55 in Palm Springs, and also in Desert Hot Springs. 34 up at Big Bear, but the numbers are going to go down in the overnight hours, so the mountains are going to get snow, and a lot of it, which is something that they may or really may not want given how uh, significant the snowfall has been and how difficult it was, especially for folks in the San Bernardino County Mountains. We've got winds gusting at uh, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour through the pass and up around Desert Hot Springs, lighter winds in the valley floor. Wind advisory goes into effect tomorrow morning for the valley at 10 a.m. We also have a high wind warning that covers the mountains, the pass, and stretches up through the high desert. We have a winter storm warning in our mountains, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow until 6 p.m. Wednesday. Significant snowfall, anywhere from 30 to 50 inches at the highest elevation. So this is going to be another big, big snowfall for our local mountains. And I certainly hope that uh, the counties are prepared to get the snow plows going. We've got eh, partly cloudy skies. Again, some very light showers, but the next wave comes in as the area of low pressure that you see up north. In fact, kind of a cluster of storm systems up into the Pacific Northwest. So it's, uh, the very active weather period continues. This system will push in and bring rain. And uh, really, tonight is not going to be as big an issue, but moving into tomorrow early in the morning, in the overnight hours into the morning hours. So let's track the time frame on our future track data. Here we are at 11 o'clock, and you can see rain in LA, Long Beach, stretch into the uh, Inland Empire, but then as we hit 3 a.m., this is where we're going to start to see some significant rain here in the valley floor. It's going to be wet tomorrow morning for your morning commute, and the heavier rain is going to be just off to our west, but we will see heavier bands of showers and a lot of snow. That's going to be indic indicative of a very snowy day in our local mountains, and that's going to last on into Wednesday. So weather alert days uh, today, uh, not so much, but tomorrow and Wednesday under a first alert weather alert. And then we'll clear out, but we stay cooler than normal by a significant margin. Temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70. Quick break. We're back with more. You're watching News Channel 3, the Desert's News Leader.